What's going on everyone? So welcome to my latest video. Um, this is a different kind of video than I normally do. So if you're new to the channel in the past, I have done uh, what's called Criterion Halls where I get, you know, certain Criterion films uh, from Barnes and Nobles because there's a 50% off sale um, in July and November. So I usually unveil that. Um, but besides that, I haven't done an unveiling of like any other physical media that I can think of um, on my channel. But Today I decided that it was going to be different because it's a unfortunate, bittersweet kind of situation. Um, if you haven't heard the news, uh, it was announced recently that Best Buy was going to be ceasing physical media in stores and online too in the first quarter of 2024. Now, Best Buy is a place that in the past I would go to quite often, specifically for Black Friday. And it was great because, you know, you would see all these different sales. You could go in stores and you could see, you know, for collectors such as myself, slip covers. You could feel it to make sure that, you know, you got a good slip cover. And at the same time, um, just being able to see that it's in good condition. When you buy something online, you're not quite sure if you're going to get a slip cover unless you're getting it brand, brand new in terms of like first day release. Um, as well as the condition you're not sure about because I worked personally for a... Um, shipping company, you know, UPS, and the way that it's handled isn't always the most delicate. So you're not quite sure about that. So that's why I always loved going in store. And I still do. Like when I collect physical media, I, I always try to go in stores. But I understand that for many companies, that's something that they're trying to get away from. It's the shame of it, but that's kind of what physical media is becoming. It's becoming pretty much online only. But Best Buy in particular, they're having or they're just cutting all types of physical media. So today I decided to go to Best Buy um, one last time and yeah I mean it was saddening but it was also at the same time pretty cool because they had a lot of really good deals um, they had a lot of things that they were matching with Amazon in terms of like you know price drops which was nice so I picked up six movies from Best Buy um, so I will be unveiling the six movies that I got and yeah this video pretty much I'm just making for myself as like a, a way to look back and say hey these are the movies that I got the last time I went to Best Buy, so um, yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna unveil them in alphabetical order. So, the first one I got was um, Asteroid City, um, I got it on Blu ray. So, I own now all of Wes Anderson's films. I was originally gonna hold off buying this and like wait for 4K, but I just said to myself, you know what, I own all of Wes Anderson's films on Blu ray. Um, there is a possibility that it gets a criterion release in the future, but either way. Um, I have seen this on Blu-ray actually before a couple months ago. I got it out from the library and it looks really good on Blu-ray. So for 10 bucks um, and it came with a slow cover, it was a steal. So I got that. Um, next up is Cool Hand Luke. Um, I got this for 10 bucks. Uh, 4K Blu-ray digital code, it's steal. I haven't seen this film in over 10 years, so I'm looking forward to rewatching it. I remember really, really liking it and getting a lot from it. There is some stuff I don't really quite remember, so that's also going to be nice watching a second viewing um, and being surprised the way that it was the first time. So looking forward to rewatching it. I've heard the transfer um, from the 4K is incredible. So I'm, I'm very glad that I waited to buy this film until now for 10 bucks. And next up, I have this to complete my um, John Wick collection, and that is John Wick Chapter 4. So this was a bit pricier than the other two entries that I mentioned. This was um, $15, but I've gotten John Wick movies um, on Black Friday sale for like 10 bucks. So there's a possibility it could drop to $10 between now and the next couple of weeks. I don't know, but either way for $15, like it dropped from 25 to 15. So I can't complain. I really like John Wick Chapter 4. I'm very excited to check this out on 4K. I remember really liking it in theaters months back. So that's why I decided to pick it up. Next up, this is one of my favorite films of the year, and that is um, Spider-Man Across the Spider-Verse. Um, so this was $17, but this was something that was released like two months ago. So the fact that it dropped from between $25 and $30 to $17, I'm taking it, especially because it came with a slipcover. Um, that's something that I kind of touched on earlier, is that the longer that you wait to buy a film, the less likely you are to get a slipcover. So for me, as an advocate of slip covers, you know, a couple months, I usually try to wait at most because usually there's at least some kind of price dip. But especially during Black Friday, I had to take advantage of this. So $17 for one of my favorite films of the year. It's a steal. 
And of course we have um, Training Day. So Training Day I've only seen once. Um, I saw it at the beginning of 2018. I remember really liking it. Um, I kind of, I honestly dabbled with the idea of buying it on Blu-ray a couple times when I went to my local record store, but I just always held off. And I'm so glad that I did, especially knowing now that it came out in 4K. Um, 10 bucks for the 4K Blu-ray and digital code, a steal. So I'm looking forward to rewatching this, especially because it's been almost six years. So happy that I own this. Uh, Ethan Hawke, Denzel Washington, great, great work from them. And the final one, this was one I actually was pretty close to buying um, last year. But this year, I just, I couldn't resist. So I got X. This I got for six bucks on Blu-ray. Now, last year I held off because I saw that it was going to be getting a 4K release. And as of right now, they still haven't released on 4K, but they are probably going to at some point in time. So I know what you guys are thinking. Well, if you know that, why, why not wait? Well, for me personally, just... Looking it up and everything, like how they shot X, I don't really think that a 4K release is going to be like a huge, huge, huge upgrade because this was shot, from what I understand, on 2K and it was digitally. So it's just going to be like an upscale. So I, I don't really think it's going to make a huge, huge difference. Plus the Blu-ray, I'm sure it still looks good. I mean, it's going to be holding, what, 25 to 40 gigabytes worth of data. So I'm sure it's still going to look really good. And for six bucks, can't beat that. But um, yeah, those are the... Six movies that I got from my last haul at Best Buy. So, yeah, I'm going to miss Best Buy. I really am. But the nice thing is for all you physical media collectors out there, we still, of course, got Amazon. Um, record stores that are close by that are selling things. Uh, a lot of online shops. And I will definitely be going down the rabbit hole of trying to find other boutique labels um, that, you know, have good deals and everything. But um, at least we still got, like, Criterion. Barnes & Nobles, I don't know much longer. They're going to be doing those deals and everything. So I will be doing a Criterion haul this month um, with a good friend of mine, uh, Sergey from Sky Night Gen. So be on the lookout for that. But guys, um, let me know your thoughts on with, you know, with the whole Best Buy debacle and also what movies you guys got for Black Friday shopping. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, thank you very much for watching. Look at the description, notification bell, follow me down the box, and I will catch you guys later.